Hello, this is the caravan that's for sale. Um, I'm making this video so you can see exactly what is what it is with this caravan. Um, it's an Ace Jubilee Statesman, four berth caravan with a, a fixed bed in the back. Very, very modern inside, very luxurious. The outside is in very good condition. It does have the odd ding here and there, but nothing major. Um, I'll show you, what, what, what I'll do, I'll do a walk round video, um, it, it's coming with an awning, a full size awning, I'll put the awning up and I'll show you the awning and we'll take a look inside. So, with this caravan um, are all the accessories you need that will be coming with it, there's um, a spare wheel, a large gas bottle with regulators with plenty of gas in it, there's the leg winder for the corner steadies, the fresh water um, but with the, a new whale pump, wastewater container with pipes, hook up lead and caravan step. Those are all the accessories you'll need to just hook up and go. You won't need to buy anything, so we'll take a look around it. So under this front cover is the gas bottle and regulator and the spare wheel and also in here there's the leg winder and I also store in here the hook up lead and the uh, whale pump for the water system. It's very nice across the front, it could do with a polish as they all could at this age. Um, very level across the front. There's one or two little bits of dings in it like I said and the decals are slightly faded uh, but there's nothing major. There's a few little dings up here. This is the aqua water butt that's coming with it and the whale pump. It has the waste container with the waste pipes. All the tyres are good, the brakes work fine, the handbrake works okay. Um, all the external lights work. I'll show you this tyre, good tread. And it's also on the Elko um, lightweight chassis. Let's have a look under there. Behind this first locker, this locker um, gives access to underneath the bed um, and behind here is the awning. All the locks work on the caravan, so the awning stores in there with its associated bits and pieces. This side, this is a winter cover, so when you're using the caravan, remove this cover and this is for the ventilation, for the cooker. Next to that we have the cassette uh, cassette toilet, uh, sorry, leisure battery, cassettes around the other side, the leisure battery on this side and the 240 volt hookup and this hookup lead is about uh, 25 feet. There's a slight little bit, bit of damage here, a slight crack there, but it doesn't let water in. Caravan's very good across the back. One or two little dings down this side. Oh, I'll just get that key. I don't know if I've left this unlocked. No, one second, just grab the key. There's two keys with the caravan and also there's uh, inside there's all the manuals, there's the, the caravan uh, handbook, um, caravan handbook and all the instructions for the, for the uh, accessories. I'm going to struggle now, I've got enough hands out, there we go. That's the cassette and all this cassette does, you push this little yellow lever down and the, this cassette slides all the way out for for emptying and cleaning and all you do is once you've got it out to an appropriate drain screw this cap off give it a swill out a bit of water in it swill it again put a couple of liters of water in and then put in the blue fluid which breaks down matter above this hatch is the hatch for filling the uh, toilet system in there fill that with water and the pink fluid. 
put down this side, there's a little ding here. Another little one here, and these be um, where the awnings have been put up and down. I'll show you this tyre. Plenty of tread on that tyre. We've got the caravan step and uh, the stable door uh, with the light above. There's a ding in this door here. There. Somebody's chopping a tree down, can you hear that? <laughs> And then there's just one or two little marks up here. Um, these are done with when awnings are being put up and here. But all in all, this caravan is in very, very reasonable condition. Um, behind this little hatch here is a 240 volt plug um, for using in the awning. <coughs> so you can get power into your awning. And down here is the weigh plate. Um, 1,170 kilograms unladen, 1,410 kilograms laden, and I'll talk to you about weights and dimensions in a couple of seconds. And this is a 2002 caravan, and how you date a caravan, this is the chassis number, also known as the CRIS number, um, and you count the tenth digit in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and that is a 2. So that, that says that this caravan is a 2002 stroke 2003 model. So that's the outside of the caravan. It has um, the aerial on the roof. Uh, it has a little slight crack here. But all in all, in very, very good condition outside. So we spoke about uh, the weight, so, it, so fully laden, this caravan can gross at 1,410 kilograms um, and the unladen weight is 1,770 kilograms. So what that means is, um, to, tow this vehicle, to tow this caravan legally, your towing vehicle would have to be a minimum of uh, 1,484 kilograms and that gives you what's called a 95% ratio so that's between your car and the caravan um, to achieve an 85% balance the minimum of your car would have to be 1,659 kilograms so what I'm saying there is if your car weighs or your towing vehicle weighs a minimum of 1,484 kilograms you can tow this caravan um, the caravan is seven foot three inch wide. It's nine foot high to the tip of the aerial to the floor, nine feet, and the body length uh, inside, from back window to front window, is seventeen feet six inch. But the total length of the caravan, so that's from the very back of the caravan to the very front of the towing eye, is 22 feet and eight and a half inches. So that's technical information that you need to know to know that you can tow this caravan legally with your towing vehicle. Um, so what I'll do next, I'll put the awning up and then we'll have a look inside. And this is a caravan with the awning up. Um, it's an Esprit awning. It's in very, very reasonable condition. It's eight feet wide, and across the front it's 19 feet. And from the floor to the top of that peak, it's seven feet. And these doors all zip out. This end door zips out. These two front doors zip out, as does the door at the other end. Um, I'll just point out one little thing. The bottom zip down here is just slightly ripping away um, from the canvas, but apart from that, everything's good. I'll just show you inside. It's an Esprit. So 
inside on the floor. This is just um, a green tarpaulin, uh, but it, it serves well as as a, as a ground sheet. There's also with the caravan with this awning across here. This is a, a skirt, and it runs right across the front to stop drafts coming under. It's a slot two pole system. You've got four poles across the roof. You've got a, one pole here, three across the roof, and then one down that end. And they just slip, slot together, and you adjust the lengths by turning these, loosen them to extend it, and then tighten them back up. And all the poles across the roof are the same, as are the ones across the sides and the ones across the front. They all slot together and then adjust. And I'll just uh, show you these and then it'll give you an idea for when you buy the caravan of roughly how these poles go together. The hooks on these, these ends and they, they hook into the plastic fitting that's attached to the awning. And all the poles are the same. They all fit the same way. So that's uh, the um, roof bars. And then going through here, um, there's another pole that goes on the end of this to hook on, onto the, the overhang at the front of the awning. What I'll do next, I'll, I'll take these doors out and then you can see um, what it's like as a gazebo. And there you have it, that's the awning. I'll take the sides out and uh, I'll show you that next. Forgot to mention also, um, these are the uh, curtains for the awning. And this is the awning up uh, with the doors off. As you see, it just turns into a, a big gazebo. And you can see that ground sheet better now. Um, and all that is, is um, a big massive tarpaulin. Now we'll take a look inside. So as you come into the caravan, um, there's a light above the door, and it's a stable door as I said earlier, and what that means is, if you flick this, catch, you can have the bottom part shut, and the top part open, get some fresh air in, like this. Also, in addition to this stable door, um, there is a full length fly net that comes across the door, keeping flies out, etc., like this. Um, we've got a smoke alarm there, we'll need a new battery. Um, so, then opposite the door, as you come in, you've got the sink, the fridge, and the cooker. The sink has a glass lid that lifts up, as does the cooker, like this. Um, all these four rings work. You've got the grill below. The grill works and there's a grill pan in there with a handle. And below that is the cooker. The cooker works. Nice clean cooker. And then below here, you've got a bit, a bit of storage. Just press it to release it. A bit of storage under there. Um, a cupboard to the left, the shelf. Drawer above for cutlery. Fridge next door. We've got the fridge working on the 240. Um, never tried it on the gas. Nice fridge with a freezer box, a 
couple of shelves and shelves in the door. Swivel tap, so you push the tap this way and um, this way for cold, this way for hot and what gets hot in here. The water works, the hot water works on the 240 volt okay and also on the gas okay. This water gets really hot very quick. I can see it steaming. Probably not. Um, opposite the cooker you have the gas fire. This gas fire works. Uh, turn it on with these controls and also to the left of this um, if you turn this switch to the left you'll hear that fan come on and what that does that works in conjunction with the gas fire to blow uh, warm air around the van through various uh, vents and things. There's one there. Above the cooker is a wardrobe like this. Above the fire. Sorry, above the fire, not the cooker. Above the fire. And in here you have um, a rail for, hold, for clothes. You have one of the control panels here. Um, this is indicating the status of the battery. The battery's full. It's got a good battery on it. I've actually changed the battery from the one that you saw uh, earlier on. I put a bigger heavy duty battery on it. This switch is a rocker switch. So when it's in the up position where it says car, when you're towing, you'll have the grey socket and the black socket plugged into your car and it'll charge the leisure battery. Next door is the pump switch for the taps and auxiliary. Below that, this is the 240 volt uh, charger for the leisure battery and a fuse box below. And round here, there is, at the moment I've got this caravan hooked up on the 240 volt and this switch above is for operating the 240 volt system so you just click it on water heater and this heats up uh, the hot water and below is a space heater and it works in conjunction with the water heater and that also um, emits warm air around the van and that's just an on and off switch to the rear of the van you have a vanity unit shower and toilet and a fixed bed um, now this this is the fixed bed we have shelving above and loads and loads of cupboard space all the way around and this panel here flips up like this and you bolt it in place underneath here like this, it's a bit hard doing this with one hand there we go so that bolts in place so it makes and when in, there's a door that slides across out of here just unclip it there pull the door across slots into there and what it does it makes that bedroom area um, perfectly private like that above the shelf there's a unit for a, cu a, a, a unit a cupboard for a TV um, which sits on on this base here and this base swivel and what that does if you've got your TV here pointing into the caravan <coughs> you can watch TV but also into the bedroom, you could close this one up. In there is also the uh, status power pack for the aerial outside on the roof. Open this door, and then what you have at the back of that is another sliding door. It was the same way, and this base, as I said, you can swivel it around with your TV on it, and you can watch TV in bed like this. Like that. Uh, this blackout blind has been has been repaired. It's had some tape put across the bottom, uh, but all the blackout blinds and blindets work in this caravan. So this is your fixed bed, good sized double bed. You can lift this mattress, which gives you access to underneath. Uh, this lifts up like this. So you can, but as we said, we've got the awning under there and everything. Um, but you could use it for the awning stroke, 
uh, suitcases, bedding, anything really. And it also has an access drawer if you don't want to be lifting the mattress up like this. You pop this back down. Double bed. And then opposite the bed is um, a vanity unit. So here you've got um, a light above, a mirror, a, a cupboard to either side, there and there, a light above, a mirror. Then you've got the sink, and below the sink is another cupboard with shelves to the sides. And open this up, let's have a look. There's another blown air vent there. A shelf in there and a base. And this is the same kind of tap that's in the uh, kitchen area. Cold water. Water. And then you have the shower door and the toilet area. And here you have to give this door a good shove to close it. Uh, and in here you have the Thetford cassette toilet, toilet roll holder, shower base. I'll take this mat out. Shower base. shower curtain and this goes round on this rail here and uh, shower head. I'll put the shower head in the base and you can see that this is working. So your taps for this, say it again, are here. It's uh, flip it out, turn it, for, get your water, cold water and the hot water. That's all working. Put that back up here. Just slots back in there like that. There you go. A window in here with a fly net and a blind on it. That's working. And then you have the toilet. Set for toilet. Lift the lid. Uh, it's also got the seat. And down in here, there's like um, a gate that you flap open and with the, with the lever just down behind here so you pull this lever towards you and this opens this flap up do your business come to the flush pull the handle up up and down like this and that gives you a flush like this using the water and pink fluid and filling it up from outside like i showed you earlier and then close the flap back up and just pump the water in it keeps the seal in good order that's the toilet and shower area and then you come into the front of the van and the seating area makes up into a, a double bed so what you have here um, this upholstery is in good condition and this makes a double bed and you can remove these drawers take them away pop them in the back somewhere which, which makes the bed absolutely massive or you can leave the drawers in situ and have your bed across here. So this is the double at the front. Um, on top of these drawers is a tabletop, which you pull out like this and flick this back. A bit out of one hand. Flick it back like this, and you have a table there, like that. Back. Two drawers. And um, another storage area under there. Plug sockets. Uh, they work. You've storage under under each bunk, under the seating. You've also access to it through a little door here, like this. Same at this side. There's all the manuals. Same at this side. Storage under there or access through this drawer like this and what I'm going to do I'm going to set this bed up in a minute um, and I can show you what it's all about and the way you do that is you uh, pull this rail out from over here comes all the way back like this 
and then you just rearrange your mattresses your, your seating cushion sorry um, but I'm going to take this drawer out in a second and I'll, I'll show you what it's like made up really nice inside this caravan it looks very very modern um, it's clean it's dry um, the floors are good and above here you have uh, a massive skylight flying it on this side blackout blind on that side like this tip it down open it up like this and then you have a catch here you open that catch open that catch lift this arm down and shove the window up and then you can have it fully open like that absolutely huge lets in lots of fresh air and I'm going to leave that open actually because it's red out in here um, this light here uh, all the lights work light there one there one under there one above there um, but this one um, when you pull the cord and it clicks on you pull it again and it clicks off now nine times out of ten it works perfect but every now and again it won't click off or it won't click on so what I've done I've left it in the click on position and I just screw the bulb in like that and you get light off that one just unscrew it slightly and it's back off again right um, so I'll make up this bed and show you what that's all about well, before we do that loads and loads of manuals coming with it um, owners manuals uh, Owner's manual there, manual for the fridge, for the oven and grill, for the Truma gas fire, uh, just a tourist book, there was a microwave in it at one time but there isn't now, all the, all the uh, manuals are here for all the uh, accessories, loads and loads of manuals just go on and on and on various bits and pieces all there right now we'll get round to making this bed so that's the bed made up that's a big double bed at the front you could quite come to the fit three on there to be honest um, but it is officially a four berth caravan so you've got your big your big bed at the front now made up you have your fixed bed at the back and you remember the cupboards that were there, I've just lifted them out, they just lift out and I've just popped them down there for the minute so there you have it uh, this is the caravan um, remember you've got all the accessories with it you've got the fresh water and whale pump you've got the uh, waste water with all the pipes You've got the hookup lead, um, the caravan step, and these are all the things that you'd need to just hook up and go away with this caravan. Um, I can also deliver this caravan to you if you wish uh, at one pound a mile, postcode to postcode, one way. Um, but if I can get the asking price for the caravan, I'm quite prepared to deliver it free for the first 100 miles, and then the rest, is, rest of the journey will be at one pound a mile on top. So there you go, um, you've seen the outside, you've seen the awning, you've now seen the inside, uh, that's about all I can say really, so thank you for watching this video, bye for now.